All right, Andrew, after a raucous and fraught endorsement convention, it's been a whirlwind in Michigan GOP politics, starting with the ouster of state representative Matt Maddock from his own GOP House caucus. Amara McDonald live in West Bloomfield uh, for us tonight. Amara getting kicked out of the caucus. Uh, I can't remember the last time this happening. It seems pretty rare. Well, it is rare, but not unprecedented except Jace in this case where you've got a state representative who happens to be married to a co-chair of the Michigan GOP. The Highland Township Republican who is married to MyGop co-chair Michonne Maddock was kicked out of the House GOP caucus yesterday. It's a pretty big deal from the standpoint of a caucus as a team and you've just been kicked off of the team and a team of which you are trying to go run and become speaker of that team leader. According to sources, Maddock was kicked for violating confidentiality rules as well as using caucus resources to bring in Trump allied Republicans and oust sitting GOP members, which brings us to the GOP endorsement convention in Grand Rapids over the weekend, which opted to endorse two Trump candidates who have embraced debunked conspiracy theories. It disgusted GOP committee man Tony Daunt to the point he sent this letter resigning, which in part says, Incredibly, rather than distancing themselves from this undisciplined loser, Trump, far too many Republican leaders have decided that encouraging his delusional lies and even worse, cynically appeasing him despite knowing they are lies is the easiest path to ensuring their continued hold on power. Back here live, right now, all this really is is some intramural internal GOP fighting. The question becomes, does it become more than that? And I think you've got to look down the road till November. The president's polling numbers are in the tank. Inflation is high. It is expected that there is going to be a GOP red wave in the midterms. Well, what happens if there is that GOP red wave in the midterms everywhere, but Michigan's top three office holders? Then I think what we've seen over the last couple days could take on greater significance. We're live in West Bloomfield tonight. I'm Mara McDonald local four.